So as you can see, list comprehensions are pretty simple. And the more you practice doing list comprehensions, the more, the more you'll see opportunities to use them everywhere. Like, what about there? So today, friends, we're going to talk about list and dictionary comprehensions in Python. The way I remember a list comprehension is simply x for x in list. If you can remember x for x in list, then you can adapt it to do whatever you want. All right, let's try a few out. Okay, so that's just a simple list. So if we do x plus 1 for x in int list. So as you can see, it takes int list and increases everything by 1. You can add conditional logic, like an if statement, to your list comprehension. So x for x in int list if x is greater than 2. All right, that'll give you 3 and 4. You can use and and or in your if statement. x for x in int list if x is less than 2 or x is greater than 3. You can even use a function inside the list comprehension. We're defining a function, add 3, it's going to take whatever integer is input and return that integer plus 3. So that, that just adds three to each member of that list. So those are some pretty good examples of list comprehensions. And if you just remember the basics, it's not too hard to build off it. So for a dictionary comprehension, In this case, k represents keys and v represents the values. So just remember curly bracket k colon v for k comma v in the dictionary dot items parentheses and curly brackets. So the key to this is remembering the items which returns a list of key value pairs. Again, you can adapt this to do all sorts of handy things. Let's start with a simple dictionary. We can modify the values. So in this case, we added one to each of the values. We can modify the keys as well. In this case, k is a string. We're just doubling the string, and it gives us a new dictionary. So that's a good example of modifying the keys. Again, you can add an if statement for the values or the keys. Here is an example. You can modify the keys as well. So you're starting to notice that this has a lot of similarity to the list comprehensions. And then one last one, we will declare a function and use that inside of a dictionary comprehension.
So you can see that list and dictionary comprehensions are very simple. If you just memorize the basic forms, then it's pretty easy to create variations of them to suit your needs. And that's how easy it is to use list and dictionary comprehensions. Stay Pythonic!